All right, so there's been a lot of interest in the testing I did of this Zestkit 8K HDMI cable, so I thought I'd test some more cables. <clears throat> some older cables, like here's a random HDMI cable I got, I don't know, five years ago or more, so it's probably a 1.4 HDMI spec. I've also got a Amazon Basics HDMI high-speed cable, which is supposed to be a 4K cable. We'll see if that's true. And finally, I got a Monoprice certified 4K cable. So we should be able to test all these different cables using the built-in uh, HDMI support, HDMI diagnostic support that's in the uh, and 4700. So let's give those a try and see, see what happens. So before we get started with our first test, let's review HDMI specs. So 1.4, that's been out a long time. Supposedly it will support 10.2 gigabits per second. 2.0, which is the previous standard, is good for 18 gigabits per second. And the new HDMI 2.1 is 48 gigabits per second. So when I upgraded my home theater system, I wanted to make sure all my components as much as possible with this new standard to avoid future uh, problems with uh, different capabilities that come online. So I wanted to future-proof my system by going with as much of this as I could I could stand. I still have a few older devices, so I'm going to be testing the cables for those and uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so here's the random old HDMI cable. So we're going to plug it in the eARC monitor port and the other end it's going to go into number 7 which is labeled 8K. Alright, so we're going to be doing that, those connections for all the cables. I have heard that I read online that some of the Amazon Basics cables are directional. I never heard of that before. I didn't realize HDMI was directional. So we're going to try all these cables connected this way and then flip flip them and do them the other way so we'll do tests in both both connecting connections on each one and then we'll see if that makes any difference All right so here's the random old hdmi cable so we're going to plug it in the eARC monitor port and the other end it's going to go into number seven which is labeled 8k all right, so we're going to be doing that, those connections for all the cables. I have heard that, I read online that some of the Amazon Basics cables are directional. I never heard of that before. I didn't realize HDMI was directional. So we're going to try all these cables connected this way and then flip, flip them and do them the other way. So we'll do tests in both, both connecting connections on each one and then we'll see if that makes any difference. So this is the second test of the random HDMI, apparently 1.4 cable I had lying around. So I reversed the connections on the back, and we're going to try the cable test again. See if we should get the same result. I'd be surprised if it didn't. So it passed the 9 gigabits per second, and it failed the 8 gigabits per second, or 18 gigabits per second. Okay, that's that's what we expected. So. All right, let's exit out of this, and then we'll try the next cable. So uh, it's a little bit tricky to get these receivers into the HDMI diagnostic mode, but I found a little trick. You see this uh, disc here with the arrows on it. Has a silver ring around it. So I found if you press the silver ring instead of the black area of the of the disc here, it's more you can get into the mode much more easily. So, so I went right into it. So don't don't press on the black area. Press on the silver ring and the back button simultaneously. Our next cable is the Amazon Basics HDMI high speed cable with Ethernet. So. This cable is, says that it'll do 4K. We'll see if that's true. Now, 4K is going to be the, the 2.0 spec, which is going to be um, 18 gigabits per second. So we'll plug it in and see if it can do that. So we've got the Amazon Basics 4K cable plugged in in the back. 
I'm gonna try the cable test. See if it, up oh, it failed right away. That's interesting. Let's try it again. Okay, so maybe it's a directional thing. So I'll try reversing the connections on the back and see if it makes any difference. All right, so I reversed the connections on the back for the Amazon Basics HDMI 4K cable. Let's see if it works. Failed right away again. That's interesting. Okay, so maybe that cable is bad. All right, so that's it for that cable. So now we're going to try the Mono Price certified 4K cable and see if that works. All right, we got the Monoprice certified 4K cable. Looked up and back, and I should be able to do the 18 gigabits per second. All right, at least it didn't fail right away like the Amazon Basics one. All right, so I passed the four gigabits per second, but it failed to 18 gigabits per second. Ha! Huh. It's supposed to be a certified 4K cable and it failed. All right, well, it could be a problem with the test, obviously, but let's try it again by reversing the connections on the back. All right, so we're ready to try the Monoprice cable test again. Connect the cable, it's connected, start. All right, so it passed the nine gigabits per second and failed the 18 gigabits per second. All right, well, that's interesting. So neither the certified nor the regular high-speed cable seem to work with this HDMI diagnostics. Now, it could be a problem with how the diagnostics are being run. So we're going to try a couple other things and see if we can figure out what's going on. All right, so since the um, certified 4K cable fail the diagnostic test, then um, I tried. I, I decided to try to plug in the different ports on the back see if it made any difference. So I tried trying port number one, which is what the instruction said that I found online. For, it was actually for an older receiver. And so I plugged it into port number one, which is the cable satellite port, and we'll see if that works at all. Okay, that failed. So that means that the uh, Receiver, if the HDMI diagnostics is not talking to port number one. So I'll try some of the other ports, and if I find something, I'll, I'll come back and let you know. All right, so I plugged it into all the other ports, and nothing it wasn't talking about. So I plugged it back into port 7, which is the 8K port. We're going to try it again. Let's see what it does. This is the Monoprice certified cable. Now it's passing, it passed the 8K test. That's interesting. Let's do a retry on that. Maybe that'll get warmed up. All right, so I passed the, the 4K test, and it failed this test, so it's flaky. All right, so that's interesting. Another time I tried it, which I wasn't recording, it said um, it passed the 18 gigabits per second, but failed a something like a 20 gigabit 8K test. So let's see if we can re recreate that. I just to convince myself that these diagnostics are working at all, I hooked up the 8K Zeskit cable on the back. I'm going to try that and see if it'll pass the 8K test. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> That's not good. All right. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, disconnect and then try it again. All right, I reversed the connections on the back, see if that makes any difference. We're testing the Zestkit 8K cable. Now it's failing. That's bad. What's different? I will try power cycling the receiver and try again. All right, this time I need a real power cycle. I unplugged it, unplugged the receiver. So we've got the 8K Zest Kit cable plugged in the back in uh, port 7, which is the 8K input port, and monitor 1, which is the 8K output port. We're going to do the cable test and hopefully it'll pass the 8K test this time. Up, oh, looks like it passed this time. Yeah, so now it's passing. Interesting. 40 gigabits per second. All right, so that's good. So now let's go back and we'll test the mono price um, certified 4K cable and see if that works. All right, so here we are again. We've got, we just passed the 8K test with the Zest Kit 8K cable. Now we're going to, I'm just going to try retry. So I plugged in the Monoprice 4K cable in the back. I'm going to try retry and see what happens. See what it does. Pass 4K, 8 gigabits per second, and failed. Okay, so failed again. So it did did pass the uh, the certified 4K cable from Monoprice. Did pass the 8K test once, and I did notice it passed the 4K, 18 gigabits per second once. Unfortunately, I didn't record that, but it's consistently failing when I'm trying this. So we're gonna try one more time. We're going to try exiting this. Starting it over, see what happens. All right, so it failed again. So the Zest Kit cable worked after I left it plugged in and power cycled, including unplugging the receiver. So we're going to try that next. So I'll just leave it plugged in while I power cycle it. All right, so we're going to try the test. Hopefully it'll pass this time. Hey, it passed. Okay. And it failed. 24, 8K, 24 gigabits per second. That's really interesting. So it seems like the only way I've got it to work consistently this afternoon is to power off the receiver, including unplugging it, plugging in the cable, power it up, start up the HDMI diagnostic test, and then doing the test. So to make it fair, next we'll give this uh, Amazon Basics cable, another t another uh, high speed t cable, another try at passing this test. So, all right. So this is what we expected, and as far as I know, the cable was working fine. I didn't notice any problems with it at 4K. And it was just crazy that uh, the test was showing up negative. So, all right. So now we're going to try the give the uh, Amazon Basics another 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 go around here. All right. Last chance for the. Amazon Basics 4K cable. I reversed the connections on the back. I, I power reset the receiver again. I turned it off and unplugged it. Fails right away. That's really annoying. Okay, well, that's what we ended up with this afternoon. Could be 
problem with the receiver, the way HDMI tests work, they seem kind of flaky. Could be the cable, could be operator error. I don't think so, but we'll see. See what, see what other people come up with. That's all we're going to do for cables now, for now. Uh, when we get the Xbox Series X later, we'll be getting either a Zest Kit cable like I have now, or hopefully by then there'll be actual certified cables. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.